Hello, hello, pretty makers. I found this technique last Christmas and I have been obsessed with it ever since. So I wanted to share it with you guys. For quick and pretty embellishments, this is the way to go. There's very little waiting time. They can be painted, antiqued, and added to almost any project you want. I used them in a few of my previous tutorials, like the gold stocking hangers and tabletop decor. If you can believe it, all you need is hot glue. Yep, hot glue. Each embellishment costs only pennies to make. And the best part is, no one will know you made them out of hot glue. I can't wait to show you, so if you're ready, let's go make something pretty. Let's talk molds for a second. You will need a silicone mold for this technique. Just make sure they're silicone. You buy them once and use them over and over. Even Dollar Tree has some silicone candy molds during the holidays. I'll show you some ideas I made with them in just a minute. The IOD molds are very popular. They're made really well, but can be a little bit pricey. Or you can also use fondant molds. They're made for cake decorating, but they work just as good. Using the hot glue is as easy as it sounds. No prep required. Just squirt the glue right into the mold and let it cool. Make sure you get it in all the crevices. Once it's cool, they should just pop right out. They don't look like much right away, but just wait. For this first project, we're gonna make a cone tree. I made these cone trees last year using paper clay, and they came out so amazing I wanted to make them again this year, but this time with hot glue. First I made a bunch of casts from this mold I got at Walmart. I think they're succulents, but to me they look like cabbage roses, so we'll go with that. I won't tell if you won't. I simply glued the casts onto the cone. It was really just that simple. The cone is curved, so you want to add the moldings when they're still a little warm, so you can bend them to lay flat on the cone. I use the larger ones at the bottom and the medium ones towards the top. The higher you go, the more you have to bend them. I also added some smaller ones in the bigger gaps to add more interest. I gave the whole thing a base coat of gesso or white paint, which is optional. It just helps reduce the number of coats of the top color. I gave everything two good coats of red paint. Make sure you get it in all the little crevices. It's pretty already, isn't it? It would be great for Valentine's Day, but we're going to make it even better. Here comes the cool part. I used something called Rub and Buff to highlight the high points. Just use your finger and rub each flower lightly. The product does the rest. How pretty is that? You could also use a gold paint pen to do the highlights. Add as little or as much as you want. Just have some fun. Now how easy was that? 
You can stop there, but I have to add a little bling, because that's what I do. I placed it on top of the stand I made in one of my other DIYs, where I also used hot glue molds. It really took it to the next level. This is also a great gift idea. Ornaments are another great way to use these molds as well. Here I added one to the Dollar Tree DIY ornament. I painted it with a base color of a cream paint and used some antique wax to bring out the detail. So quick and inexpensive. Here's another tree I made with the molds. I used a Dollar Tree triangle frame as the base for this project. I grabbed some molds I had in my stash. I always keep a few on hand because they make such great embellishments. And created a design on the frame. I used a cream base, two coats, making sure to get in all the crevices. Then I used the Champagne Extreme Sheen, one of my favorites, to bring out the detail. I really love this project. It really has that high-end look. But I think I only used two sticks of hot glue for all the molds. That's like 50 cents. The whole project, including paint and bling, is probably around $2.50. I love this look so much, I'm already planning more videos for Valentine's Day and Easter. So make sure you look out for that and subscribe. Okay, this is one of my favorite ways to use these molds. Candle pins. You can take a simple plain candle and make it stunning. All you have to do is make a mold, paint or decorate it any way you want, then glue a thumbtack to the back. They sell actual candle pins, but I have so many thumbtacks and they work just as good. Then just poke it into a candle, and you just elevated it to another level. For what, maybe 25 cents? Here's the one I made with the shell mold from Dollar Tree. I make a lot of these candle pins and give them as gift. No one ever knows, it's just a little hot glue and a thumbtack. And they all love them. The best part of candle pins is you can change them out for the different holidays and seasons in literally seconds. That was just a few ways to use these embellishments that only cost pennies to make. You really do need to give this technique a try. Anyone can do it. You can be so creative and customize them for your own style. I will definitely be using these in future projects, so watch out for that. Make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications so you'll know when a new video is available. I thank you for watching and keep making pretty things.